George, just exactly how unique is this flying boat? Well, it's quite unusual in that it, uh, the wings fold and uh, it's kept at home on a, on a boat trailer. And uh, the, the performance of, uh, of a flying boat generally is not too good. Uh, it takes an awful lot of power to get them off of the water. However, uh, because of, of the particular design and the weight to power ratio of this, this particular flying boat, it performs quite well. It gets off the water quite short, unusually short. It surprises most pilots that I talk to that are acquainted with flying off the water. What was the concept for building this? How is this opposed to a seaplane? My concept was that uh, seaplanes uh, and land-based planes at airports, uh, uh, you, you have a lot of expense to keep them in a hangar and so forth. I, I felt as though to, if the concept was that if I could build a little flying boat, that I could fold the wings, keep on a boat trailer, take it home, store it in my garage or boat port like you would a, an outboard, and uh, take it to and from the river alone, because it is a single-place aircraft. Uh, uh, it would be unique and it would be very practical because I can, it, it has uh, the ability to go into high altitude lakes and uh, uh, get into some areas of fishing that perhaps uh, other people wouldn't be able to get into. Basically, I used, I used to be in the building supply business in San Jose and I used to fly back and forth in my other airplane and I was intrigued by the Delta area down here. I used to fly back and forth and and uh, I often said, gosh, if I just had a little seaplane of some kind where I could sit down there and do a little bass fishing, why, it would be a lot of fun. I since sold my business and, and uh, uh, took the time off to design and try to make that dream come true.